It was the early hours of January 12th, a quiet morning in the vast expanse of space. The universe, as always, seemed to hum with a gentle, timeless rhythm, moving in the quiet dance of celestial bodies, planets, stars and galaxies, each in their place, following paths that have remained unchanged for eons. Yet, on this particular morning, something was stirring in the cold emptiness, something that would soon send ripples through the scientific community and beyond. The object in question, 3 Eye Atlas, had already caught the attention of astronomers around the world. This interstellar wanderer had been travelling through our solar system for some time, and though it was initially thought to be just another comet, its behaviour had started to raise eyebrows. What made it stand out wasn't just its trajectory or its size, but something far more subtle, its irregularity. Unlike the predictability of most objects in space, 3 Eye Atlas exhibited behaviour that seemed far too complex for a mere comet. At first, scientists had noticed that it appeared to be brighter than expected. This could have been attributed to a number of things. Reflections from the sun, the release of gases as the comet passed through the outer reaches of the solar system, but the brightness wasn't just steady. It flickered, pulsed, and not in the random chaotic manner that one might expect from something caught in the chaotic motions of deep space. No, this was different. There was an almost rhythmic pattern to it, as though the object were alive in some sense. It began as a faint signal, nothing too alarming, just an anomaly in the data. But as time passed, the pulsating light from 3 Eye Atlas grew more pronounced. This was not something anyone had predicted. The comet, once thought to be a predictable icy wanderer, was now doing something entirely new. Its tail, usually the result of ice and gas being stripped away by solar winds, began to behave in unexpected ways. Rather than drifting, smoothly behind it, the tail seemed to twist and shift, almost as though it were responding to some unseen force. At first, some speculated that this was merely a trick of the light, an optical illusion caused by the angle at which we were observing the object. But as more data was gathered, the evidence became undeniable. This wasn't an illusion. Three-Eye Atlas was changing, and not just in the ways that comets normally did. It was shifting in ways that defied everything known about celestial objects. The more scientists analysed it, the more they were drawn into the mystery. There was a sudden urge to understand, to unravel the enigma of this strange object. A team of astronomers at a major observatory worked around the clock, their telescopes trained on 3 Eye Atlas, hoping to capture any clue that might explain its behaviour. And as the days went on, something remarkable began to emerge. The object seemed to be undergoing what could only be described as a transformation. Its tail, once, a diffuse and steady stream of gas and dust, now appeared to shift and twist, almost like a living organism stretching its limbs into the void. This wasn't just a comet moving through space, it was something more. The scientific community was abuzz with excitement and confusion. How could something so ordinary, so predictable, suddenly become so… strange? This wasn't supposed to happen. The laws of physics, which had governed our understanding of space for centuries, appeared to be bending in ways that no one could explain. As more observations came in, it became clear that Three Eye Atlas was not only brightening in an unusual manner, but its trajectory was also altering. It wasn't following the usual cometary path. Comets, as we know, typically travel in elliptical orbits, influenced by the gravity of the Sun and the distant planets. But Three Atlas was veering off course, as if responding to something deeper in the cosmos. There was a sense that it wasn't just a random object, drifting through space. There was intent behind its movements, as though it were making decisions, consciously altering its path. This was the moment when the question started. Was Three Eye Atlas really just a comet, or was it something else? Could the object somehow be alive in a way we hadn't considered? Could it be responding to something we couldn't yet see? And if so, what did that mean for our understanding of the universe? Scientists scrambled to find answers. Each new piece of data only added to the mystery. As the flickering light of Three Eye Atlas continued to pulse from the depths of space, it became clear that this was no ordinary event. It was the beginning of something far bigger, a journey into the unknown, one that would stretch our understanding of the cosmos in ways we had never imagined. The object was changing. But how? And more importantly, why? These questions would linger in the minds of scientists, astronomers and dreamers alike, 
as three Atlas continued its strange voyage across the stars. As the days passed and January unfolded, the strange behaviour of Three Eye Atlas grew even more perplexing. What had begun as a subtle anomaly, a faint flicker, an odd pulse, had evolved into something that scientists could no longer ignore. The comet had always been a wandering visitor, drifting silently through the cosmos, but now it seemed to be following its own rules, casting aside the predictable behaviour that should have defined it. Astronomers, with their powerful telescopes and intricate instruments, had expected to observe the same phenomenon that they had seen countless times before. A comet passing through the solar system, its icy body releasing gases as it drew closer to the sun, forming the familiar shining tail. But Three Atlas was not playing by the rules. Instead of a simple trail of gas and dust, its tail twisted and writhed, shifting in ways that felt deliberate, as if the very act of movement was intentional, an energy pulsing outward from the core of the object rippling through space. The most remarkable change, however, was the behaviour of the object's light. Initially, its brightness had been steady, just another comet, as predictable as any other. But now, its light pulsed in an unnatural rhythm, growing brighter and dimmer in a pattern that seemed almost like breathing. This was no longer a random reflection of sunlight or a simple outgassing of material. This was something far more intricate, something that defied the usual patterns observed in space. For scientists, the implications were both exciting and terrifying. How could something so ordinary, so familiar, suddenly begin to behave in a manner so extraordinary? The more they observed, the more they were drawn into the mystery of Three-Eye Atlas. It wasn't just a comet. It was something more, something beyond the grasp of current scientific understanding. The data began to pour in each observation revealing new layers to the puzzle. It was clear that the object's transformation wasn't just visual. The very physics of Three-Eye Atlas seemed to be bending. The object's trajectory, which had been well documented before its anomaly began, started to veer off course. Rather than following the expected elliptical orbit around the sun, it appeared to alter its path, shifting subtly yet unmistakably. Was the object responding to an unseen force? Or was it acting with a purpose of its own? The idea that Three-Eye Atlas was simply a comet, a body made of ice and dust, seemed increasingly implausible. A comet's behaviour could be influenced by gravitational forces and solar radiation, but what Three Atlas was doing was far more complicated. Its actions were deliberate, calculated, as if it had an awareness of its surroundings. It wasn't just an object in motion, it was a force in its own right, one that could not be easily explained. To make matters even more confusing, astronomers began to notice something else, the interaction between Three-Eye Atlas and its environment. As the object's energy pulses rippled outward, there were strange disturbances in the nearby space around it. This wasn't just the typical disturbances caused by a comet passing through the outer reaches of the solar system. No, this was something deeper. It was as though Three-Eye Atlas was causing ripples in the very fabric of space itself, bending the laws of physics in ways that had never been seen before. The scientific community was in a frenzy. Theories began to emerge, some plausible, others far more speculative. Some scientists believed that the object was simply a rare comet, undergoing an extraordinary process, one that hadn't been witnessed before. Others speculated that it was the result of a previously unknown force in space, something beyond the realms of traditional physics. And then, there were the more outlandish theories. Could Three-Eye Atlas be a probe, a piece of technology from an advanced civilization, drifting through our solar system with some unknown purpose? It was a tantalizing thought, but one that lacked concrete evidence. Yet despite the speculation, there was one undeniable truth. Something was happening to Three-Eye Atlas that could not be explained. Its transformation was not just a fleeting moment in time, but an ongoing process. The object wasn't simply changing, it was evolving. The once stable, predictable trajectory of the comet had shifted, and with it, the course of human understanding had changed. In the face of this mystery, scientists had no choice but to ask, what was Three-Eye Atlas, and why was it defying every expectation? The answers weren't coming quickly. In fact, they weren't coming at all. But as Three-Eye Atlas continued its strange, unpredictable path through space, the excitement of the unknown only grew. Every new observation seemed to unlock another layer of this cosmic enigma, 
revealing just how little we truly understood about the universe in which we live. With each new discovery, the question became even more pressing. What was 3i Atlas? And could its changes, its unnatural pulses, its strange movements, be the first signs of something far greater, something beyond our understanding? Only time would tell. As the early months of the year passed, the mystery surrounding 3i Atlas deepened. What had started as a simple curiosity, an unusual comet passing through our solar system, had rapidly transformed into an enigma that baffled the brightest minds in astronomy. Every new observation revealed more inconsistencies, more deviations from the expected behaviour of a comet. But it wasn't just the object itself that was puzzling scientists. It was the strange interactions between 3 Atlas and its environment. What was most unusual about 3 Atlas, aside from its shifting tail and irregular pulses of energy, was how it seemed to affect the space around it. Normally, objects in space, be they comets, asteroids, or distant stars, move through the cosmos with relative isolation. Sure, gravity from nearby planets or stars might alter their course, but they don't interact with their surroundings in an active or intentional way. 3 to Atlas, however, was different. There was a subtle but undeniable connection between it and the interstellar medium around it, a kind of resonance. Astronomers began to notice faint irregular signals emanating from the area surrounding 3i Atlas. At first, they thought it was just interference, something that could be easily dismissed as background noise. But when the signals grew more distinct and consistent, it became clear that this was something far more important. The signals were faint but unmistakable resembling the kind of patterns one might expect from objects interacting with one another, like ripples in a pond spreading outward from the point of contact. This interaction between 3i Atlas and the surrounding space was unlike anything astronomers had ever observed before. The object seemed to be influencing the space around it, as if it were creating its own gravitational or electromagnetic field. It wasn't simply passing through space, as one might expect from a wandering comet, it was causing subtle disruptions, altering the very fabric of the space through which it moved. But the question remained, how? What could be causing this? Theories began to circulate among the scientific community. Some speculated that the comet was somehow interacting with dark matter, an elusive substance that, while invisible, is thought to make up most of the universe's mass. Could three Atlas be travelling through a region where the effects of dark matter were more pronounced altering the way it moved and interacted with its surroundings. It was a tantalising idea, but one that was impossible to test with the current technology. Others suggested that the object was interacting with the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow left over from the Big Bang. This radiation permeates the entire universe, but its effects are usually negligible. Yet, in this case, the strange behaviour of 3i Atlas seemed to align with fluctuations in the cosmic background, hinting at an unexplored connection between the object and the very fabric of space-time itself. But perhaps the most intriguing theory came from a few, bolder thinkers. Could 3i Atlas be responding to a force outside of our current understanding of physics? This wasn't the kind of question that most scientists were willing to entertain. After all, science is built on observable facts, repeatable experiments, and theories that can be tested. But the more data that came in, the more it seemed as though 3i Atlas was defying all the known laws of physics. The pulse-like energy emissions, the shifting tail, the irregular movements. It was as though the object was operating under an entirely different set of rules. In the absence of clear answers, the idea of an unknown force at work became more appealing. It was a difficult thing to accept, especially for a field as rigorous as astronomy. But the evidence was beginning to suggest that 3i Atlas was not just a comet. It was something more and that something more was beginning to pull at the very foundations of how we understand the universe. As the days passed and new data streamed in, the question of what 3i Atlas truly was began to shift from a simple scientific inquiry to something far more philosophical. Was the universe as we know it truly complete? Or were there parts of it, hidden forces, undiscovered phenomena that we had yet to comprehend? Through Atlas, in its strange and unexplained behaviour, had suddenly become more than just an object to observe. It was a symbol, a gateway to something greater, something far beyond the limits of human knowledge. 
The more astronomers learned, the more they realized how little they actually knew. Every new discovery about Three-Eye Atlas only seemed to raise more questions, pointing toward an ever-expanding horizon of the unknown. And with each question, the allure of the mystery grew stronger. Was this just the beginning of a journey, one that would take us into realms of understanding we had never even dreamed of? Or was Three-Eye Atlas a warning, a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the universe we call home? As the mystery continued to unfold, one thing became clear. Three-Eye Atlas was not just a comet. It was a signal. And that signal was calling us to look deeper into the unknown, to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. By the time the first signs of spring began to appear, Three-Eye Atlas had grown even more enigmatic. The comet's behaviour, which had initially seemed like a temporary anomaly, was now becoming an enduring mystery. Every observation, every data point only added to the growing puzzle. There was something about this object, something hidden beneath its icy surface that defied all expectations. It was no longer just an unpredictable comet. It had become a celestial force. The most curious aspect of Three-Eye Atlas's strange journey was its movement. Objects in space, particularly comets, are bound by the laws of gravity. Their trajectories are influenced by the sun's pull, the gravitational effects of nearby planets and other forces. But Three Atlas was not moving according to any predictable pattern. It was as though the object itself had gained the ability to alter its course, not simply reacting to gravitational forces but actively navigating through space. Astronomers, at a loss to explain this phenomenon, began to entertain a radical thought. Could there be a hidden force at work? Was there some unknown force in the cosmos that was guiding Three-Eye Atlas's movements, something that defied our current understanding of gravity and space-time? It was a difficult theory to accept, but the evidence seemed to point in this direction. As more data was collected, the idea of an unknown force became more plausible. The object's strange trajectory, its pulsating energy, and its ability to change direction with apparent purpose suggested that Three-Atlas wasn't simply drifting through space. It was moving with intention. But who, or what, was guiding it? And more importantly, what would it mean for our understanding of the universe if we could uncover the answer?